Hello everyone, welcome to today's training. This is the second video for today's training and this design right here is what we are going to recreate. It's a very simple design, I assure you, very simple. So stay with me and I will show you, just pay attention to every single step I'm going to take from now to replicate this design, okay? Like I suggested yesterday, if you have uh, another phone, you can have this image in the second phone so that you will minimize and go to your application and start your design. So I'm going to click create new design and I'll go to solid color bottom right, solid color because the background, I'll show you how to create this design. I'm going to select white background and next size I'll use 1500 I like my designs to be fairly um, um, well I say very clear I'm removing the Adobe Spark logo then I would also delete this delete look at look at what I'm clicking now this is what I'm clicking now so that that will delete now this is what we are doing now if you have a um, design that the background is white look at this this is white background but there's a yellow do you see that yellow let me show you how icon is very powerful this yellow background that you're seeing right here i can use rectangle to achieve it this yellow background you're seeing i can use rectangle to achieve it so let's go back to our spark post sorry let's go back to our spark post i will click on add icon instead of flower i'll type rectangle rectangle now just look at what i'm going to do with the rectangle i need to work what is wrong remember this yellow background behind the young man daniel foley is what we're going to achieve we want to achieve so i want to show you how to use icon to create all those kind of things what's wrong with my network now you see all kinds of rectangle but this rectangle right here looks closest to what i want i'll add it did you see add one now see what i'm going to do there's a cursor here sorry this brush is what i want to touch there's a do you see this drag that's what I'm going to use to drag it. So I'm going to make it stand. Good. You see those lines? It's showing you that it is now vertical. Now I will increase it. Keep increasing, keep increasing. Look at what we're trying to achieve. Remember this shape, this yellow shape. That's what we're trying to achieve. Ah, I shouldn't be repeating. I'm sure we're all smart. So look at, I've moved it not completely close. I'll change the color. And go look for the color that looks like that yellow look at what I'm doing I'm looking for yellow and I'm looking for it look at that done look at it did you see that I hope we are seeing what I'm doing now now all I need to be not all I need to do now is to be sure whether the space that I have here the space between the space here is equal and can take the font that I have here or the text that I have on this side whether it can take the font that are here but obviously it cannot so I'm going to shift this shape I'll shift it a little. Just watch I'm, what I'm doing. I'm not going to talk too much so that you will just watch what I'm doing. It's very easy. I've created more space of white here. Now, without wasting much time, I'll click done and add a photo. I'll send this photo to you so that you will see. But this time around, not from any of this, but from, it's not a free photo. It is from your gallery. So this is your gallery here. I hope ah, this thing is blocking it. This bottom right gallery. 
look at it where is that image sorry I'm yet to download the image so I'm gonna go look for the image I want to use I don't want to use Daniel Foley so let me download the image that I want us to use this is the image oh my god this video is wants to be long now because of that now the image did not appear in my gallery because I have not downloaded it but now I'm going to try add image again gallery it should appear now oh my god where is this image what is what is here Pause. 